Hey, uh, I Okay, we well, we well aware of the uh, of the stakes here. We are both undefeated, but we all hope for a good fight and to let let the best fighter win. Outstanding, ladies and gentlemen. We are so looking forward to this matchup. That will be your co-main event of the evening. We've heard from Mr. Savera, and now let's meet his <laughs> opponent, ladies and gentlemen. As I alluded to earlier, two-time Golden Glove amateur champion, two-time Junior Olympic champion, ladies and gentlemen, Ruben Villa. Ruben, you come in a very heavily touted featherweight. You've got a great opportunity on your hand. Same question. Knowing that you're fighting another undefeated fighter, this is only the second an undefeated opponent you've been inside the ring with in your young career does that add any pressure to you uh no no pressure at all you know this is what we signed up for and uh you know the, the bigger the risk the bigger the reward so i'm pretty excited to, to perform friday night and uh, show you guys what i got outstanding so you said you had about a five hour flight to get here it wasn't too bad you feel like it maybe any jet lag or anything gonna bother you in your training and ready for the fight no not at all training camp went good went hard as always and uh, like i said we can't wait to perform and you know should you show you guys what what we've been working on I feel like i kind of been slept on for a little while but uh being able to fight on tv is really gonna expose expose me and uh really open doors for my career Outstanding. Ladies and gentlemen, you will see these two featherweight undefeated fighters go head to head inside the showbox. New generation ring Friday night, January 11th from Stageworks of Louisiana. Mr. Ruben Savannah taking on Ruben Villa. Ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be a fantastic featherweight war live on Showtime. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this next bout will be your main event of the evening. This fight brought to you by Devin Haney Promotions in association with Bishop Promotions. This will be a 10-round lightweight war. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing your first fighter. He will be fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Dukon Village in South Africa. Coming to you with a professional record of 25 wins and has oh, never God. tasted defeat. 13 of those wins by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Orasani Undangani. No Edi Ami. No Kona Matata. No Kona Matata. No Simba. And ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> tomorrow, Friday night, he will be taking on a history-making fighter, looking to continue that history-making record. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. Fighting out of the red corner. Best He's born in Oakland, California. He's fighting out of Las Vegas, oh, Nevada. Coming to you with a professional record yes, of 20 wins, yes, zero losses, 13 by way of knockout. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, here is oh, Devin, the Dream We'll start our questions off with Olasani. Now, Olasani, you come in, and with him, ladies and gentlemen, he's got Mr. Sorry on the names here. Mr. Sean, that's right, Sean Smith. Apologize about that. So, Sean is here. Guys, most of your fights, Olasani, 24 in the country of South Africa. One time you fought here in the United States, and you did get the win in that one. It was in California. He is the former IBO champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen. The title was vacated. He won that title by a ninth round stoppage back in 2015. He has been ranked as high as number three by the WBA. He's dick in your mouth. Olasani, how excited are you to be fighting here in the United States one more time? Third world country ass. Devin Haney, the king. He's your boss, your master. Um, first of all, I would like to greet everyone and thank you for having me here in Louisiana. Um, um, I'm excited for the fight, confident, and uh, we're ready for the fight. Uh, come Friday night, uh, it's going to be showtime. Outstanding. Now, you've been a pro quite a bit longer than Mr. Haney. You turned pro back in 2010. And you've got nine scheduled 12 round fights on your resume already. And he holds a victory over former 130 pound world champion, Nsanke Fana. Do you feel like you have an experience edge over your younger opponent in Devin Haney? 
Um, with all due respect, um, we know all that Devlin is a great boxer, young boxer, yeah, um, very young up and coming prospect. He's dealing with the uh, uh, old boxer. I've been in the game for a long time. I've seen it all. You broke his um, mouth. I've fought with like uh, too many different boxers. He's he's one of the boxers that will come in the ring with no member. So it, there's nothing different. There's nothing special. Um, I'm not shaking about fighting Devin Haney, and especially fighting him in, in America. So it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a great fight. Um, I promise you it's going to be fireworks. I'm not here for anything but to win. You know, uh, for my side and my camp, um, um, uh, the only thing that we're here for and the only thing that to be good for us is a win, not anything else. We're not looking for anything less than a win. So, thank you for the opportunity. We're here now. Nice to see you, Godfather. <laughs> you you going to get it. And now, he ladies and gentlemen, let's talk to his opponent. <laughs> he grew up in Oakland, California. He fights out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He is the seven-time national junior amateur champion. A professional record of 20 wins, zero losses. Yes, sir. Turned professional at the age yes, of 17. Hang on. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, he won his first pro fight against Gonzalo Lopez by way of knockout. And then just a mere days later, wins his second professional fight also by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, you talk about a history-making fighter, Devin Haney, the youngest man ever to fight in the MGM Grand Las Vegas Arena when he defeated Rafael Vasquez on the Pacquiao-Bradley undercard. And earlier last year, ladies and gentlemen, he made history once again, becoming the youngest ever active fighter promoter in the history of boxing. Devin Haney, welcome to Louisiana, my friend. We are so glad to have you here, and we are so glad to have you fighting inside the Showbox New Generation ring. Now, what can we look forward to you Friday night inside the ring, taking on an older and a little more seasoned opponent? Um, first off, you know, I want to say uh, thank you for having me. You know, thank you to all the media that came out, you know, to for, for this event. You know, thank you to all you guys. Uh, thank you to Bishop Promotions. Um, Indogenian and his team. Uh, I want to thank my team, uh, Devin Haney Promotions, and uh, I want to thank, thank Showtime, my sponsor, Snack, and um, you know, it's the, the list goes on and on. You know, I, just, I want to thank everybody. You know, uh, come Friday night, I'm going to put on a, a great performance. You know, I want to show everything in my arsenal. You know, uh, I want, like, like I've been saying, you know, in the build up, you know, the, the boxing world has me as a prospect, but I feel like I'm a contender. And after this fight, I want the whole world to know that I am a contender. Now, Devin, this is your third consecutive contest here on Showbox, the new generation. But again, you're only fighting your second ever undefeated opponent. Do you feel like you've got something to prove here? Like you said, you're trying to show the world you're more than a prospect. Yes, um, I definitely feel like I have something to prove. Um, this is a, a, a big fight for me. And... You know, this is the biggest fight for me. You know, I feel like this fight is going to take me to that next level and those big fights that I really want. So, you know, this fight, it's not only about going into this fight, you know, to win. It's going into this fight. You know, I want to look good doing it. And you've got a great win under your belt in his last fight, ladies and gentlemen. He was a stoppage against Mason Menard, another talented, lightweight fighter. You able to put him down. So what's next if you get the win on this fight? This is three in a row on Showtime. This will be number four. You pull out the win here. What's next for the dream, Devin Haney? Yeah, um, that was my, um, not my last fight, but my fight before last. But, um, you know, with, with the win here, you know, the sky's the limit. Like, like I was saying, you know, I, I felt like this fight will take me to that next level. It, it's going to give me those big fights, you know, and hopefully a, uh, a title eliminator. Outstanding. Ladies and gentlemen, you will see all of these fantastic the fighters step inside the, the Showtime Showbox, the, the third generation the ring, live the at Stageworks of Louisiana. It so goes down God, Friday, January the 11th. Make Ladies and gentlemen, we do have a very select number of tickets left for sale. Do not miss your opportunity to be part of history as we watch all these fantastic fighters alive on Showtime. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much for joining us here at our official press conference. My name is Dynamite. I thank you so much for coming. God bless you all and good night.
Okay, stay right here. Okay. Face off, please. Okay, guys, can you face the cameras now? No more pretenders to the throne. Looking down here, looking straight here first. That's showtime. Look at that camera. Seven-time national champion. I'll be there, King P. Don't, you ain't got no belt that little belt. Okay, so guys, we good? Thank you. Okay. Go ahead and get me up. Charge. U.S.B.A. U.S.B.A. Go get your ass turned. Go ahead. 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 Go He's scared too, champ. You can see it in his face. Yeah, you scared. He's scared as a motherfucker. All that smile. Come here to get a quick dog. All right, we're going to have all four. Deb, right here. Right here, please. Everybody on the phone. Hey, guys, hands up. Thanks to cameras. Hey, hold on. No, no. You ain't got no body in you, nothing. All right, guys. I think we're good. Thank you so much. Snake chase. Push. Come on. 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 I got you. I got you. Don't get beat the fuck up. You're too far away from home to be acting like that. Shut your bitch ass up. I'll fuck your ass up. Shut up, bitch ass. Shut your bitch ass up. You's a bitch, boy. Shut your ass up. South African bomb. Broke motherfucker. Shut up, third world. You don't even got no Super Bowl World Series name. Trying to get American buck. Don't get fucked up. I make more money carrying these belts than you check three, four, five. Yeah, yeah. My boss is, my boss is belt. Your boss don't have none. Your boss don't got no belt. You can't floss no belt. I don't even think you understand what I am saying. Let me be articulate. Oh, you don't know what that means. Let me be a little more where you can understand. He's doing interviews. What you want? How do you want to do it? I don't even need my chain point. I get on your fucking helmet, boy. Come on, what fuck wrong with you? Fucking hut, man. Motherfucker think he in Calabasas staying in the motherfucking margarita bill. Hut boy. Not hut football. Hut. You know, hut you live in. Not Peyton Manning hut. I'm over here trying to get a dollar. Instead of him just being quiet, you know, motherfucker don't know nothing about none of the movies I'm in. Bossing up, soul playing, none of the shit. He just looking. Dumb as a motherfucker. Come on, stay with me. You know how we come, sir. I I don't know that the city of Freeport understands the magnitude of this event. Nobody talking to you. <laughs> Feel alone.
Nobody love you. <laughs> nobody love you. Ah, <laughs> nobody love you. <laughs> yeah. Show them some love when you pick them up. Show them some love when you pick them up. <laughs> Show them some love when you pick them up off the ground. <laughs> what? 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 You know, how does that make you feel? Does that make you never lost? Nobody paying attention to you like me, huh? <laughs> Look, you lonely like me. <laughs> At 20, when did you first start fighting? Were you, were you just, uh, on the streets? Uh, did you go through fighting? What did you do? No, listen. What's that? No, I got it. <laughs> I'm going to imitate him. It's on Facebook, though. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I got it on my phone as a regular video. That's I got it on, posted on Facebook. Too. <laughs> hey, hey. Yo, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> Okay, I will say it right tonight. I will try. <laughs> uh, my name is Poli San. Poli San. She's been looking it up for two days, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tolisani, um, you ready, Jordan? Yeah. Okay. All right, Tolisani, uh, coming into a big fight like this here in Shreveport, and it feels like you're maybe getting overlooked a little bit. You're undefeated. You did a fight with a little bit of a chip on your shoulder on Friday night. Uh, it's a good fight. You know, um, I would say to it, I know it's a good fight. I didn't get to meet you. I don't have a problem. Give him money, because we know our, we know our, we know our language. You got to get that kind of, you know what I mean, just kind of garbage, man, kind of swag. What are you expecting to happen on Friday night when you step in the ring? Get knocked out. What I'm here for is to win the fight, just to give money away from the fight, and win the fight. So, you know what, I know why I'm here. I'm working. And I'll win. Let me ask you, you uh, Devin, 20. How old are you and when did you first well, start fighting? I'm Where were you? I'm 28 years old. You know, I started boxing at a very late age. You know, uh, Devin and another guy, they were previously started boxing when I was six, eight, four, six, seven. I started at the age of 18 years. You know, uh, for me to be here, it's not like a, 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 a so I don't regret anything that uh said my boxing career at the age I would never just So now I'm here with David and I said a boxing a long time ago, uh before I said a boxing. But you know what I already know that when I turned professional it was uh maybe the first day you know. And uh that's not the case. We here we both undefeated. We we both fighting for something. We we, 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 we want to fight something. 
So, uh, I've been a world champion for eight months. Uh, I, I held titles not one, not two, uh, not five, for more than that. Oh, really? So, uh, I've been around, you know, so I've been in the game so far, so uh, it's going to be a ramble. You know, I'm here to win. Do you see this as an opportunity to make your name big and for everybody to know who you are? Yeah, it's a very big opportunity for me to, to make my name big. Uh, Church. 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 Talk to the church. Yes. What, what happened? With what? What just happened? What just happened with God? Mm-hmm. You tell me. Tell me. I mean, you got all up on. You got all up on. On the manager. On the trainer. I don't think. I think he got up on me. I think he walked towards me. Yeah. And said whatever he said. Derogatory. Yeah. Not a derogatory individual. Hello. It was good. Or was he bad? No, it was good. You kept it live. You, no, you kept it. Bad? Good. it Which one was kept it? Very entertaining. This is not entertainment. He is serious. <laughs> this <laughs> motherfucker is serious. <laughs> That's the thing. This <laughs> motherfucker. This is not entertainment. This motherfucker. This is serious. <laughs> Bill, I, I heard Man, you. I tell you what. <laughs> Normally, I have a tight leash. And today, <laughs> that motherfucker broke. Wow. Okay, he, yeah. The pit bull gets away. Bill, you know, I, heard, I, heard, I heard you whispering. Maybe like, uh oh, might be a little trouble. <laughs> Tim Applegate is on your ass. <laughs> Can't wait to catch you, man. Man, they can't wait to catch you. <laughs> Don't go far without me, church. church. Come on, you like the picture with Come on, talk to her. So I can yell at you Friday night. Got her, church. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, I don't know. Oh, man. Have fun, man. I don't know what they say. Yeah, okay, I've got the top don't nobody know how to do you, but see. You ain't fighting them, huh? How you feel? You all right? What up, girl? Eating my fighter's brains out with a spoon. In fact, I can show it to you. And um, this has been going on for some time. And here it is right here. He has proof. This didn't just start at the way in. They've been bothering us. We just getting them back. Way to the way and get here. Got to get out there and grab him because he he be ready to bite. You know, 
is ready to bite. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I handle I handle when people chime in together a little bit more than church. Does. You know what I mean? I'm, I go crazy too. Church, church don't fuck around. What do you think about this press conference? I like it. I like it. I, I think it was, it was a nice press conference. You know, I think uh, Louisiana, the people in Louisiana are showing us uh, some love, amazing love and attention. No problem. So, no problem. Yeah. And uh, somebody was snoozing back there. Yeah. <laughs> somebody was a little shirt. There we go. <coughs> that, um, Bill, in all seriousness, like, do you have a nice relax? Right. Uh, People, people call to this. You need to stay close to me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you need to stay close to me. What they say? What they say? I had to follow him because he, he talking about doing something. He was gonna try to do something. Too. Yeah, you need to stay. You need to stay close to me. I got him. I'm good. <laughs> I He's making it Well, they definitely paying attention to you, so that you, you did the job. I don't think you think about him. You think about you. They gonna go in the room and talk about you. They are not gonna talk about that. They gonna go talk about you. So I think I think you did the job as far as that. When it comes to the Lord, he says in Haiti, you're going to see the AWACS, you're going to see Sidewind, the International Continental Ballistic Missile, you're going to see the nuclear sub, the A clay, the shine for fun, and none other than the Bella and the Draco. That's all in the repertoire. Pay attention. Special camera lens does it fast. <laughs> And this is this is <laughs> <laughs> <My pleasure. laughs> hey Bill. Oh, yeah. right, Bill. What time are we going to go? Yeah. Yeah. I'm teaching you why you go for a ride before you leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You show them and then approve how they was messing with us. Start mess. Yeah, yeah. Show it to them, church. <laughs> It's in there. I seen it. It's in there. It's in there. You right behind.
How you doing, sir? Hey, how are you, big cat? Great job, man. This man right here, fantastic. That's a hype man right there, baby. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I was a little worried. First time I've ever done this. Oh, no, you did a good job. Look like you've done it before. Yeah, they didn't tell me until I walked in the room five minutes before it started. Oh, you did a great job. Nobody never know that. Reputation precedes you. Yes, sir. Oh, you live I'm bored. I'm bored. Yes, sir. So, Will, how you doing? How you doing, man? Thank you, man. You know, I'm accepting the fight, man. Thank you for the opportunity. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed some of the show uh, that we've been witnessing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's over yet. Uh, we got church here. As long as church is here, you never know what's going to happen. And uh, the other guys are right over there. So, uh, I don't know. I feel some of y'all still enjoying the show. Uh, if I go back on quick, you know it's going down. All right? So, listen, all this stuff, you know, my YouTube channel is going live. My Instagram channel is going live. I have to go Facebook because I have more followers on Facebook. But any one of those uh, go live at any time. You don't want to miss a second. We still got to uh, weigh in. You know, we still got a lot more stuff to go. So, uh you know, if you ain't subscribed to my YouTube, do it now because I may go live. You might miss it. You might be on this one looking for me. I'm on something else, okay? I've been going live on my Instagram, too. So, uh, I'm going to cut this off for now. Y'all go ahead and subscribe. Uh, Big D Boxing on YouTube. And uh, I might go live on there right now. So, like, that's that's probably what I'm going to do. Go live on there right now. Get them some of that love, too. All right? So, we're going to see y'all. All right? Peace.